We have to fold 12 identical modules, half of the modules I'm going to fold with the colour side up in the beginning and half I'm going to fold with the white side in the beginning. We're going to start with the colour side up and fold the model in half, like so, and unfold again. Now you've created this crease and we're going to fold that edge to the crease we just created. And the same thing on the other side. Once that's done, we're going to unfold again, turn the paper around and fold it in half diagonally. And unfold again and fold in half diagonally in the other direction. And unfold again. Now we're going to turn the paper around and you can see that these diagonal folds intersect these horizontal folds. We're going to take this edge and fold it up to meet exactly those intersections. And unfold again. And do the same thing on the other side. Just bring the edge to those intersections and unfold again. Now we're going to collapse this model. You have the mountain folds here and you just push the sides along these valley folds to form a water bomb base, like that. And then you can see you've got a valley fold here and you take one layer of paper and push the paper up. So this is kind of 3D. Now what you're going to do is, this point you can see here, you want it to go over there. So by just pushing that down, you can see you can flatten the model again. So you make a new crease right here. And on the other side also, just press this paper flat bring the corner inside and then make a new crease here. So you can see this kind of has a house shape. And you do the same thing on the other side. Now you can see you've got valley folds here also. What we're going to do is we're going to again take one layer of paper and fold that layer of paper up and then you want to squash fold this bit exactly symmetrically. So you can have you have a valley fold here and you're going to align it with that edge of paper you can see here. So you exactly align these. So you have something like this. On the other side too, press one layer of paper up and then do a squash fold. And you do the same thing on the other side. Once you've done these creases, undo them again. They're just pre-creasing for assembling all the models in the end. And that's your first module done. Do 11 more. We are going to start with six modules where the color is outside and the white is inside. And six modules where the white is outside and the color is inside. With the finished module you will not see any white anymore. Now let's have a look at one of these colored modules. If you open them up you will see that there is a pocket here and when you look at one of these white modules, let's just look at one half, so basically just fold these together so you just see one half, you can see there is this tip in here and you want to insert exactly that tip into this pocket. So just slip it inside. So you can see that this is the pocket and here it's sliding inside. 
and then just close the colored module again. So you've got half the white module outside and the full colored module. Now let's take a next colored module and hide this white half in the next module. So take this front tip and slide it into the pocket of the colored module. Like so. Now you've got two colored modules connected through one white module. And you continue like this until all the white modules are hidden and all the colored modules are connected through this hidden connection. So this is the last white module. Let's insert this last one into one of the pockets of the colored modules. So now all the modules are connected and you can see you've got one half of one white module still visible. Now let's press this nicely together and try to get this to basically form one line so all of the modules are connected very nicely. Now what we're going to do is this half of the white module is going to be hidden into that remaining pocket on exactly the opposite side. So if you just twist this together and then as before slide the white into the colored module. With this variation the locking mechanism for the modules is much stronger so you shouldn't have problems with the modules going apart when actually connecting the last two modules. So this is now all connected and now we only have to st um, stabilize the whole thing. So if you look you have these folds here from the second last step of folding the modules, which you unfolded in the end. If you have both layers of paper from the two different modules on top of each other and you reinforce that squash fold on two connected modules and then just press this down, then that's a locking mechanism. And you do that with the next two also. And then the next two. And you go round like that all the way. This is the last one, just flipping it down. You're actually not creating any new creases in these steps. Now you've got these outsides folded and now you can just twist these fireworks around once so that now you can, can do the same step as you just did again. Do these squash folds and then just go along these valley folds which are already prepared. Just flipping them, do them down on existing creases. Like so. And this again is the last one. Just flipping it down. Like so. And then, believe it or not, your fireworks are all done.